Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have a little double upload situation today because we are taking a look at Team of the Season La Liga predictions. Of course, this was the last set of Team of the Season cards that will be released with a community vote, and we already have one leaked card. So, I'm trying to get this out before a lot more leaks come out, but as of right now, we only have one leaked card. I want to talk you guys through that, and also take a look at the starting 11, the possible reserves that we could have on the bench for Team of the Season La Liga cards, and some flashback SBCs, some TOTS moments, and some U23 potential SBCs that EA could release during Team of the Season La Liga. And let me tell you, some of these cards, I think La Liga is going to be the second most hyped League of Team of the Season um, after Premier League. I know League One is really, really high up there too, but these cards look unbelievable, and especially with some guys uh, and the boost they've had already this year, we might have some incredible La Liga team and season items. So if you're excited to get into these, make sure to smash a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's start at the defense as we normally do. We're also going to take a look at the price predictions that I have for these cards too. You guys know how we do it with predictions. Also shout out to my man Yaz. I'll put his link down below. He whipped up all of these graphics for this uh, video today. So we're going to start off with price predictions and who I think will be in the actual team Starting with the defenders and goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, I think it's got to be Courtois. I think that a lot of people are going to vote him in, especially with Real Madrid winning the league, right? A lot of those Real Madrid players are going to be featuring in this team with that little bit of EA input. They usually try to honor, even if the voting does not show it, they like to honor those teams that have performed really well during the year. I think Courtois is going to be in. If he gets 88 speed for how tall he is in game, this might be an incredible, incredible goalkeeper card. So, I think he's going to be around 120, 150,000 coins, and that might be a little bit more than some of your other team of the season goalkeepers, like Ter Stegen right now, or sorry, not Ter Stegen, but Neuer in Tots Bundesliga is like 60k. If if Courtois has stats like that, and there's a lot of good Real Madrid links like Alaba, potentially a Militao in this team of Tots cards, that would make his value, I think, be a little bit more for those strong links at the back. Left back, Jordi Alba, I think is probably going to end up winning the vote for your left back. Jordi Alba had a Tots card last year. It was pretty solid. I think it was around like three, 400,000 coins. I think this Jordi Alba this year, with how cheap things are on the market, I think he's going to be around 200k. That's about it. That would be a solid left back card, though, in La Liga. Now, the center backs are where it gets insane. I don't know if we're going to have a right back in this team. We might have three center backs in the starting 11. Alaba, Araujo, and Kunde. I think that of these three guys, um, obviously Araujo is the one that is leaked already. That's the only confirmed leak that we have right now. And if we go and take a look at the card that we have leaked, we all we know is that he's got 88 pace as the time of me recording this video. So um, hopefully EA can juice that up just a little bit more, but this is probably one of the most hyped up cards for La Liga team of the season is this Araujo card. Um, and everybody's wanting a special Araujo this year. So I think, you know, it's a leak that we're going to get one. Now it all just comes down to the stats. So, of course, in this prediction, we've got him juiced up to 90 pace. I hope EA would do that. Obviously, David Alaba um, with an insane card that you see right there. I think that would be a really, really dope card uh, for a center back item that you could also play in the midfield as a CDM if you wanted to. With Real Madrid links, that'd be a really nice link up between a Courtois and then a potential Militao that could be in the team as well. But I think instead of Militao in the starting 11, I think Koundé might be in. Now, between those four cards, Alaba, Araujo, Koundé, and Militao, I think they all might get in. Uh, whoever's in the starting 11, whoever's in the bench, I guess I don't know. Uh, but I think that there might not be a right back, and we might get those four center backs in the team, just because I'm sure that's those were, if you think about it, the most hyped cards in this vote. Koundé with the French links, his Team of the Year honorable mentions card was so, so good. So for all these center backs shown right here, I think Alaba's going to be about four to 500K. I think Araujo is probably going to be around that same range, but since he has so much hype, he might end up being around 500k to 600k, and then I think Koundé is going to be around 4 to 500k, maybe more closer to the 500k range as well. This team, as I continue to look at it, and as we go to the midfielders, it just seems like a lot of these cards are, are going to be like middle tier value. Like during Prem Tots, of course, we had some guys in there that were like 150, 160,000 coins, like Bernardo Silva like Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, Jordi Alba might be that kind of guy. He might be under 200K. But I think that Alaba, Araujo, and Koundé, and Militao, depending on which ones get in, 
all are going to have enough hype to be in that four to 600k range i think they'll all settle in there uh, and a lot of people will really want to use them this is a very center back heavy loudly guitar in my opinion so let's move on to the midfielders because it just keeps getting better as we move up the pitch Pedri, of course, with the future stars item that he had this year with the five star skills, that's going to be the biggest question for this Pedri card. Yes, he'll get a solid upgrade. I mean, you can only imagine what this card would look like. We have an insane Jude Bellingham that got an upgrade over his future stars. We have an insane Gravenberch that has got an update over his future stars. How good is this Pedri going to look? I would love if they made him all 90s gang. I think that'd be a bit unrealistic. Again, the biggest aspect with this Pedri card, though, is going to be that uh, skill move or weak foot upgrade. If they keep him at 4-4 four, four and they don't give him the 5-star skills, I think that might detract a little bit from the value in this card. Um, but even if he doesn't get the 5-star skill moves like his future star item has, I still see this Tots Pedri card being somewhere around the 1.5 million coin range just because he's going to be one of the guys you use. If you're using Araujo to link in a team, the Spanish links, all the um, other Barcelona cards that are already in this game, to link them all together, I think Pedri's going to be a very popular card in the midfield. He's very, very meta, small and agile and very quick. His passing is unbelievable if you've used the Future Stars version. So I think he's going to be like the second most expensive player in this team, Pedri, around 1.5 mil. Now, I think Modric is going to end up getting into the starting 11. I think this one's going to be your cheapest midfielder, three to 400,000 coins. It's going to be an insane card. It's going to be nasty as well. I just think that he's not, you know, in terms of a FIFA meta. I know he's got the Real Madrid links, which will keep his price somewhat relevant, but I think he's going to end up being in that three to 400K range. That's going to be a solid card. Again, a lot of this stuff, just like it's been on the past couple weeks of TOTS, is really dependent on the skill move weak foot boost, but that's going to be a sick card. And then Fakir. Same thing with him as well, with the foot birthday, having the five-star skills. Regardless, though, this Vakir card is going to be very, very popular. I think he's going to be about 400 to 500,000 coins. With stats like that, he's going to be ridiculous. And, of course, the French link-ups. This is going to be... You, you guys see now why I'm saying that this is probably going to be the second most hyped team of the season release that we will have uh, during this whole month of TOTS because it just looks cracked, right, as we take a look through a lot of these cards. Now, there's other midfielders that we will cover in the honorable mentions, uh, or that could get on the bench. So we'll take a look in a second. I, you're like, Nate, where's Casemiro? I'll show you, all right? It's not done yet. But before we go to those, let's go to the attackers. And this is where it gets crazy. This is where it gets ridiculous right here. Of course, everybody's waiting for that card over there, the Vinny Jr. Team of the Season card. He's going to have the 99 pace. He's going to have the 99 dribbling. It's all about those other stats. How much is EA going to boost this card up? You saw the big boost that they did with Nkunku with the insane season that he has had. I really hope they do the same thing with Vinny. But with Vinny as well, we're going to talk about a, a weak foot upgrade, right? He's 5-star, 4-star. If they make this Vinny Jr. 5-star, five 5-star, five he will be the best attacker in the game. And in my opinion, he will cost 4 million coins, if not even a little bit more. Because this guy is going to be the most sought after, the most overpowered attacker in this game it's been an incredible fifa year and an incredible irl year for vinny jr and real madrid and i think that ea should reward him with a card 95 rated as the overall stat might even be a little low we could see a 96 or a 97 vinny after we saw the high overall ratings that we saw in um, bundesliga team of the season that might again transfer over into this next week with la liga tot so that's a really exciting card again going to be extremely extremely expensive but a lot of hype and it's going to be stupid good. So I'm saying four mil. If he's five star, five star, maybe even a little bit more. We'll have to see. Also, his attack partner, his strike duo, Benzema. This is going to be the best ever Benz that we have ever seen in FIFA. 96 pace, 98 dribble, 98 shooting on the concept card. If they give him a 97 or a 98 rated, which I believe is deserved, and if they give him the five star weak foot, I don't think that this card is going to be stupid expensive, but I think that he will be incredibly incredibly good this card to me is probably going to be somewhere around like the 750k range i think it might get a little bit of disrespect because you know it's not going to be the most fifa meta card and you're also going to have another attacker in this team as joao felix i think is going to get into the starting 11 that will be more meta with the five star skills but Benzema with the Vinny link up, it's going to have so many people wanting to use this card. Flashback Benzema this year really put Benzema like on the map on in terms of a super meta FIFA card that people are used to using. Because before that, he wasn't super usable until like the very end of the year. 
I think this card's going to be absolutely incredible. Although I do think it's going to be less than a million coins. I think it's going to be seven to 800K once the prices kind of roll around and everything gets sorted up. And that would be if he gets a five-star weak foot. If he doesn't, um, then maybe a little bit less. But I think with those stats and a five-star weak foot, you're talking 750K, maybe a little bit more than that for a Big Ben's card. And then also Joao Felix. The big thing with this card is the five-star skills. Super duper meta item, 98 dribbling. Everybody used as like cheap player of the month and his numbers up card. They've been using them all year. I really hope this Joao Felix gets a pretty big boost. He might be one of the lower rated attackers. 93 rated is probably pretty accurate, I think. But I still think that with the five-star skills and how meta he is in game, he would maintain a price tag of around six to 700,000 coins in this next week. Again, all of these price predictions are going off of how we think EA is going to upgrade the cards. If they upgrade them way more than we thought they were going to, then obviously the prices would be a lot more. Like Salah for Premier League Tots, I was like, yeah, he's going to be 1.5 to 1.7 mil. And he's like 2.5 million coins because EA gave him 97 rating and they upgraded the weak foot. And people were super duper hype for that. And there were so many other Liverpool links in that team of the season. So, you know, it's all going to depend. And these are just estimates, but... I think you will see that a lot of these prices will be pretty close to where we're guesstimating. So, onto the bench and some notables that could get into the bench. Acuna. Everybody would love an Acuna card, right? It's kind of like uh, at the end of each year of FIFA, we get an insane Acuna card. If he doesn't make it into the team, um, that's going to be a little unfortunate on the bench, in my opinion. I would love him to be on the bench. The only issue with it is for each of these tot squads, they're releasing 15 cards. So it's a starting 11 and then five on the defense. So usually there's like one or two midfielders and then one attacker and one defender on the bench. So if we're getting Militao and Alaba, Kunde, and Araujo, then we might not be getting Acuna. That's just kind of one thing to think about. Same thing with Moreno. A lot of defenders potentially in this team. But I think we would all love to see those four center backs that I just mentioned. And Militao, you would look at that card and you're like, man, that is ridiculous. And I think that Militao having a card like that would probably be the most expensive center back that would be out in the team with the Brazilian links and the Real Madrid links. I think he'd be about 700 to 750,000 coins, probably around the same price as Van Dyke, maybe even a little bit more. We could have our only center back in team of the season that is nearing that one mil uh, coin amount. With this card right here so that's a crazy Militao card right and then of course De Young. if they wanted to put a midfielder on the bench De Young, since this is a fan vote right bruno got into the prem tots could De Young get into the la liga team of the season i think there's potential for that 90 defense 90 physical of course he had a really insane tots card last year that was like two million coins in the first weekend i think a De Young card like this would probably be somewhere around a mil um, and then dropping a little bit under that during this next week. But that card looks, again, really, really ridiculous. If I kind of compare him to another item that's already out in the game, Todd's KDB is obviously more attacking than De Young, but Todd's KDB has been around that 1 million coin mark. I think that's kind of the price range for the De Young card. Um, you know, not sure about any weak foot or skill move upgrades there. If he doesn't really deserve the tots as much, kind of like the same thing with Bruno Fernandez, as some people would argue, good season, but not like spectacular. EA didn't boost up his card as much. He was only 93 rated. I could see the same scenario with the young here. So let's move on to the second page of potentials. More attackers you'll notice here uh, that could be in the team. Lamar, potentially, probably not though. Um, Muniain, potentially, probably not. Angel Correa, FIFA favorite this year. Goncalo Guedes, Antiago Aspas. To be, to be honest, Aspas is somebody who deserves to have a TOTS card just about every single year. Uh, because he's always putting in goals and always putting in the work and, um, and doing great things for his team. He's also a pretty meta FIFA card once we get to this stage of the year. So if they were to put an attacker on the bench, out of these guys, I feel like Osbos might get in. I could see Angel Correa getting in. Um, I think I voted in my starting 11. I didn't have any of these guys in my Tots La Liga vote. Um, but I think that one of them will get in on the bench. So we'll have to see who that is. Mooney Iron could be pretty good too if they actually boosted up his weak foot uh, or it's his skill moves, I forget. He needs a boost, but that could be a really meta card as well. I think he's like short, lean, you know, agile dribbler body type. So those are all the Tots cards. Again, I really think that starting 11 minus, you know, Militao coming in instead of being on the bench or vice versa, maybe one of the midfielders that we talked about being in. I feel like that's probably going to be your team of the season squad right there. Couple, we're going to miss out on a couple cards, but uh, those, it should be, a, again, 
some really, really insane cards in packs for La Liga Tots. Now, this is also the fun part because we're going to take a look at some flashbacks and some SBCs that EA could potentially be dropping as a part of La Liga Tots as well. And let's be honest, our suggestions here are probably going to be a little bit better than what comes out, but you never know. Last year, La Liga Tots, they brought insane content. So, flashback. Eden Hazard, perfect opportunity, EA Sports. Eden Hazard has not had a special card in a hot minute, and they love to drop the flashback SBCs on the Friday of the promo release. We had Vitzel, um, and we had the Deli Alley flashbacks the last two weeks of Team of the Season. One of these guys, whether it's Adama Traore, Verlen Mendy, or Eden Hazard, all would be fantastic. I think, personally, the, the Mendy would be cracked. It'd be, it would be disgusting. Everybody would go out and get their endgame left back if they dropped a Mendy like that. But that's also the point with La Liga, right? So many great potential SBCs they could release. Um, Hazard would be really, really cool as well. Of course, the last card that he had, I think, was like the, uh, the Winter Wild cards, if I'm not mistaken. So a Hazard special card would be... Very appreciated as he hasn't had too many on this year. And of course, Ferlin Mendy, everybody's been wanting him to get a special card for the longest time, and he still does not have one. So that could be really, really good there between those two cards. Adama Troyer would be pretty cracked as well, but I think Mendy and Hazard would be if we had to choose between one of those two. I feel like people would choose Ferlin Mendy, but regardless, those are great flashback SBC options that EK release this next week. And then let's go on to some moments cards, right? Just like we had the Tots moments, Kulusevsky. Um, and of course, a record breaker, or end of an era, not record breaker, Sergio Aguero, the card that's been leaked now for a couple, um, honestly, like a month, and it hasn't been released. It was leaked around the same time, though, as the Akinfenua was, and Akinfenua did release. So there's still a slight bit of hope that we might get an Aguero end of an era card. Uh, a couple other moments cards that are in here, Bebe and... De Jong, Luke De Jong, um, but I think this would be the one, this Aguero card would be absolutely ridiculous if we got that. This week, again, that's why I'm talking about the SBC content, the potential for the cards in packs, it's all adding up for La Liga Tots to be one of the best weeks of team of the season. It's just down to EA to deliver, it really is. So this Aguero card would be unbelievable. Really hope that comes out. Last one we have here, some U23 cards. Uh, U23, Javi, Valverde, and Pino. Again, Valverde could have a U23 or even a flashback, actually, because Valverde was in Community Tots either last year or two years ago, and his card was really, really cracked. He's got the... Um, that's, uh, he had the ice and the fire versions earlier on this year. He's got the three-star skills, the four-star weak foot. They could very easily make him four-star, four-star, make that a really, really insane midfielder SBC. Javi would be great as well, or Gavi. I think that's how you pronounce his name correctly. Anyways, um, I, I, lads, you, again, you look at these predictions, you look at these cards, and there's really, uh, there's no other way to say it except La Liga team of the season should be absolutely mental. From the top to the bottom and everywhere in between with the high tier cards like Vinicius and potentially Pedri, the middle tier cards like a Joao Felix, a Benzema, and some of the other midfielders, and then all the defenders that are in this team. This team of the season is sure to shake up FIFA Ultimate Team with the hype, with the cards that they could release. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy the predictions, let me know down in the comments who you think. If you think, yes, Nate, this price that you had prediction is good. This player is definitely going to be in. This player is not going to be in. Let me know down in the comments below. I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the photo count, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.